Hi, girls. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Tanya. Good evening, Ovia. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, children, today we'll, uh, uh, meaning, uh, what's her name? Deepti is not joining the class today because uh, she's uh, occupied in a family get together. Um, shall we discuss the answers in the next class when she's also there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so we'll continue with the, uh, the chapter. Yeah, one sec, let me finish. Let's continue with the chapter uh, 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 perimeter and area. Yeah, over here. Okay, yeah, what's your question? Ma'am, uh, you gave uh, the questions right, ma'am. Yeah. That uh, you didn't teach us how to do the nine sum. Yeah, yeah, we have not uh, discussed everything actually. Have you understood the answers for which I've given the, have you understood the ones for which I've given the answers, Ovia? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's it, don't. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Don't worry about the others. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss them. Whatever has been explained in the video, have you understood that or you have some doubts there? No, ma'am, I understood. Ma yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, children. So, what do we mean by the circumference of a circle? Okay. Right on. Let me know, uh, girls, once you finish writing.
Done, children? Mom, I have a doubt, Mom. Yeah. Mom, uh, in the formula to find the uh, constant circumference of a circle, you have put in C is equal to 2, and what is that, Mom? Uh, okay, uh, 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 I just uh, request one thing from you. If I have not explained something, you don't have to have a doubt there. Once I complete, once I finish explaining, if you have some uh, questions regarding what I've explained, you can ask me. I haven't done that at all, right? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Please let me know once you finish writing. I have to tell you that. Done writing, girls? Yes, ma'am. All right. What about Ovia? Finish writing. Okay. So, <clears throat> like for any other figure, circumference of the circle is the length of the boundary or the perimeter of the circle. So when we say circumference of a circle, that's nothing but the perimeter of the circle or the length of the boundary of the circle. So that means, you know, suppose you're supposing you take a piece of thread. Okay, you pay, take a piece of thread, thread, all right, and you, uh, you know, like uh, place the uh, place one end point of the thread here. You place one, see, supposing this is the length of, you have a thread like this, you know, you, you know, a thread is very flexible. A thread is very flexible. So supposing you have a length of thread like this. So you keep one end point here and you, uh, you know, you use the thread and go along, you go along the circle. You know, you can keep, place the thread on the uh, boundary or on the circumference of the circle and come back to the starting point. Okay, cut the cut this now. Supposing the length the uh, row the thread is still longer, cut it here. Keep one end point of the thread here, and uh, you know place the thread on the boundary of the circle. Come back to the starting point. If you have some length of the thread extra, cut it, cut it. So you should make sure that the ends meet. The uh, the two ends of the thread meet. Now you take the thread and you can measure it using a scale. Take that piece of thread and measure it. Now, supposing this is the length of the thread. Keep your scale here. Keep your scale here. And measure the length of the thread. So supposing this is zero. OK, so like here, this is 12. So that means the circumference of the circle is 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters. Just for uh, an example. You can find the perimeter or the length of the boundary of a circle by using a piece of a thread. If the circle is very, very large, you cannot know. So you need to have a formula. For small circles, you can find its perimeter using a piece of thread. You know, you can take a thread, uh, keep one end point of the thread somewhere on the circle and then use a thread to go along the boundary like this come and then come back to the starting point and cut the thread there so that now the two ends meet and then you can measure this thread the length of this thread using a scale or any other I mean uh, some tape or something but what if the circle is really big really big then it's not possible it's not convenient it is possible but it's not convenient to find the length of the circle or the length of the boundary of the circle using a thread it's not possible. OK, sorry, I shouldn't say it's not possible. It is possible, but it's not convenient. So you need to have a formula to find the circumference or the perimeter of a circle. So this is the formula. C or circumference is equal to 2 pi r. 2 pi r. OK, pi is not the, you know, uh, the eating pi. K pi, not this pi, not this pi not the bakery pie. It's P-I pie. P-I pie, it's a Greek letter. Pi is a Greek letter. It's a Greek letter. Pi is a Greek letter. 
Okay, so how do you pronounce the symbol? The symbol is pronounced as pi, which is a Greek letter. Okay. Let me write that here. It's not PIE, it's just PI. Okay. The symbol, the symbol is pronounced as PI. PI is a Greek letter. You can make a note of this. Yes, girls, please write this. You continue. I don't have place, so I wrote it here. You continue. You don't have to write it in the side like this. You please write it below. Writing, ma'am. Very good. Finished writing. Very good. Yeah. So, any questions so far, girls? It's clear? Yes, yes. Very nice. OK, so now let, let's take up some questions uh, to uh, understand how to find the circumference of a circle. <clears throat> Children, please mention units here. I forgot to write two pi r units, children. It's not square units, it's just units. Please uh, mention that. I forgot to write it. C is equal to two pi r units. <clears throat> okay. So now, how do we uh, simplify? We need to take a number from the denominator, another number from the numerator, and simplify the numbers using the same tables. So 7 from the denominator, 21 from the numerator. 7 ones are 7 threes are. Now you need to multiply the numbers in the numerator. 2 into 22 into 3. So 2 threes are 6. So 22 into 6, <coughs> 132. 132 centimeters. So the circumference of the circle whose radius is 21 centimeters is 132 centimeters. Yes, children. Now, when the value of pi is not given, you should always take it as 22 by 7. When the value of pi is not given, you should always take it as 22 by 7. You should not take 3.14. You must take 3.14 only if it is mentioned in the question. 
So in question number two, you can see that in the brackets, it's given new pi is equal to 3.14. Only here you can use the value of pi as 3.14. If it is not, if nothing is mentioned, then you must take 22 by 7. Or if they mention take 22 by 7, of course you have to take 22 by 7. If they don't mention anything, you have to take 22 by 7. You take 3.14 only if it is given. So here it's given. So we take pi as 3.14. Now tell me the product. What is 3.14 into 20? Sir? Yes. Um, the answer is six thousand two hundred and uh, six thousand two hundred and uh, sixty two point eight zero. That it cannot be such a huge answer. Let's do it together. Ovia, Ma please see your screen. Ah, uh, yes, Tanya. Yes, Tanya. I'm six point. 6.80 ma'am. Um, you have made a mistake in placing the decimal point, Tanya. Okay, girls, see, let's let's do it together. Okay, so first uh, we'll do the easy one. Two into ten is twenty. So now we have to multiply three point one four and twenty. Okay, now instead of this, we'll multiply three hundred and fourteen and twenty. Okay, then we'll place the decimal point in the answer. We always do this only. You should always do this. Now, two tens are 20 children. Okay. Now we'll have to multiply 3.14 and 20. Instead, we'll multiply 314 and 20. Now, again, see here. One minute. I'll just write the same thing once again. Like the same thing once again. See here. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, 2 into 3.14 into 10. So we multiply 10 and 2. So 3.14 into 20. So in the next step, what you can do, you, it's just 314 into 20. Now, again, you have to, don't have to multiply by 20 also. You can just multiply 314 and 2. Now, what's the product? 2, 4s are 8, 2 and 6. Now, we didn't take the 0, right? So add a 0. Okay, add a zero. Six to eight, add a zero because it's twenty. So add a zero, and then we did not. Uh, we we need to place a decimal point after two place of decimal. See here. So here also in the product, you must place a decimal point such that there are two digits after the decimal point. In three point one four, in three point one four, after the decimal point, there are two digits. So in your product, you must place the decimal point in such a way that there are two places, two digits after the decimal point. So you have to place it here. Now it is 62.8. Now you can ignore the zero. The zeros in the extreme ends, you can ignore. So it's nothing but 62.8. I'll repeat this. No, I'll repeat this. Yeah. OK, fine. So it's like this. I'm repeating. This is what we have to find. Now 3.14, you just take 314. And for 20, you just take 2. Now multiply. This is the product. Now what should you do with the product? To the product 628, add the 0. And then what about the decimal point? After the decimal point, there are two digits. So here you'll have to, in the product, you'll have to place the decimal point here so that you have two digits after the decimal point. So the product is 62.80, which can be written as 62.8. And the unit is centimeter because it's 10 centimeters in the question. So the unit is centimeter. Got it, Tanya? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what about Ovia? Ovia, please ask me your doubt. If you you said you got the same answer, but you said something else earlier. Yes, ma'am. Before I didn't add the 
a decimal point and I told you mom. But after that I added but I muted my mic and I told the answer. Okay, okay darling. Fine, fine. Happy that you got it. Nice. Completed. Shall we go to the next one? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, children, uh, what is the relationship between diameter and radius? What is the relationship between diameter and radius? Um, so the di yeah. <clears throat> um, diameter uh, is where you uh, divide the circle in. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes. So the, the value of the diameter of a circle is double the radius. Now see here, this is the, this is a circle. Okay, and uh, the diameter is given to be 50 meters. This is the center of the circle. And this line segment is the diameter of the circle. This length, which is the diameter, is twice the radius because from the center, from the center, to this point on the circumference is radius. Again, from the center to this point on the circumference is radius. So, diameter is nothing but two times the radius. Diameter is r plus r. Diameter is two r. <clears throat> See, let let me come from radius. Which is the radius of the circle? Circle, center. This is the radius. This is R. Circle. Circle. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Circle. Center. Center. From here to here. Radius. That is R. This one is also R. So that is the diameter. This line segment is called the diameter. This line segment is called the diameter. So diameter of a circle is equal to R plus R. So diameter is equal to, we know that repeated addition is multiplication. R plus R. So 2 into R. 2 into R or 2R. What is 5 plus 5? 2 into 5. 10. 5 plus 5, repeated addition is multiplication. 2 into 5, 10. Similarly, R plus R is 2R. R plus R is 2R. Diameter is equal to twice the radius. If the diameter is 5, sorry, if the radius is 5, diameter is 10. See, radius, diameter. If the radius is 5, diameter is 10. If the radius is 7, diameter is 14. If the radius is 100, diameter is 200. If the diameter is, uh, if the radius is 1, the diameter is 2. If the radius is 3, the diameter is 6. The value of the diameter is double the radius. The value of the diameter is double the radius. Okay, but now so we know that D is equal to, we know that D is 2R, D is 2R. So we have the formula circumference is equal to 2 pi R. So this is nothing but 2 
into r 2 into pi into r that's the meaning so you can also write it as 2 into r into pi see all this is okay one minute you can just make a note of this children because you don't have to answer it like this let me put this in the rough column let me put this in the rough column it's very important let me write it here circumference is equal to 2 pi r okay so that means it is 2 into pi into r and you can also write it as 2 into r into pi or you can write it as pi into 2 into r you can write it as pi into 2 into r pi into 2 into r and what is 2 into r what is 2 into r d what is 2 into r d so pi d so we have another formula to find the circumference of the circle. If the diameter is uh, given, you can use the formula C is equal to pi D. If the radius is given, you can use C is equal to 2 pi R. See, we know that the circumference is 2 pi R units. What is 2 pi R? 2 into pi into R. So that is nothing but pi into 2 into R. Now what is 2 into R? Twice the radius. That's nothing but the diameter. So instead of 2R, you can write D. So pi into D or pi D units. Pi D units. So when do we, so we have two formulae. So C can, C is 2 pi R or C is equal to pi D. You can use this when radius is given. You can use this when diameter is given. Am I clear, children? Um, so for this question, we should use pi D. Correct. Correct. Mention this, children. Uh, make a note of all this. So you can uh, find circumference using 2 pi r if radius is given, or you can you uh, you can find circumference using pi d if diameter is given. So here, since the diameter is given, c is equal to pi d units, and pi the value is given to be 3.14. So take that value into d 50. Now both of you find the product correctly. Yes. Ma'am, is it uh, uh, 100, 157.00, ma'am? 157.00, okay. So that is nothing but? 157, ma'am. 157. Okay, let me see what. Oh. The same answer, You're getting the same answer. And yeah, both of you have got the correct answer. Yes. I didn't get the same answer. Oh, what have you got? <laughs> okay, um, we'll do it now. No problem. We'll do it together. I, need, uh, um, I actually need. Um, I wrote it wrong, ma'am. Okay, please do the correction then. So, how do we multiply? How do we multiply this? 3.14 into 50. So take out the decimal point 314 <clears throat> into 5. You can do 5 fours are 20, 2 carried over, 5 ones are 5 plus 2, 7, and 5 threes are 15. So this is the product 1570. But then we need to add one more zero because it is 50. We have multiplied by 5, but it's 50. So add one zero. And then here, after the decimal point, we have two digits. So place the decimal point here so that there are two digits after the decimal point. So it's 157.00, which is nothing but 157 uh, meters.
Oh, if you have any trouble with the multiplication, please ask me. I can repeat it. You said you have not written the number correctly. Yes, ma'am. Now I did it again, ma'am. I got the correct answer. Okay, fine. Okay, now just think of a bangle, okay? Just think of a bangle. Or uh, mm, have you seen, uh, you know, um, uh, children uh, playing with the, uh, uh, you know, rolling the cycle tire with a stick on the ground? It's, you can yes. find it. Yeah. You know, uh, children in the villages normally, this is one of the uh, ways they spend their time. Uh, they use a cycle tire and they have a stick. And they balance the tire on the ground and they keep rolling it. They hit it with a stick and they keep the uh, tire rolling without uh, making it fall on the ground. So in that case, children, the this the you can find the distance covered. The distance covered. Now, supposing the boy uh, you know, like uh, is spending his time like this in the evening and the tire makes, say, some 100 revolutions, 100 revolutions. So you can find the distance the boy has covered using the concept of circumference. Let's see that in the next question. So look at this question. The diameter, the diameter of a, I'll say a wheel here, okay? A wheel. The diameter of a wheel of a car is um, 140 centimeters. It cannot be 140, okay, 70 centimeters. Okay, find the distance covered by the car. Find the distance covered by the car in Okay, so the dis the diameter of a wheel of a car is 70 centimeters. So children, one minute before I go to this, let's just recall. Now, I say this is sweet, okay? This is a sweet. And uh, the length of this, the sweet is a square in uh, shape. Okay, and uh, there is an ant. There's an ant, it starts from here. The length of the suite is four centimeters. The length and the breadth are equal. Now, supposing the ant, okay, it's very health conscious. It's not eating the sweet. Okay, it's 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 walking around. It wants to eat, but it's you know it doesn't want to eat. It's so health conscious. Now it's going it's going around the boundary of the suite. And supposing it goes uh, three times around the, along the boundary, what is the distance covered by the ant? What is the distance covered by the ant? In going in um, in uh, yeah three rounds um, yeah um, I think the answer is tw uh, twenty okay let's ask Tani also what is the distance covered by the ant in three rounds is the question.
plant goes one round, two rounds, three rounds along the boundary of the sweet. What is the distance covered by the ant? I also think it's 20 minutes. Okay. So now this is the ant. Okay, what is one round? What is one round? One round means what is the distance covered in one round, girls? What is the distance covered by the ant when it goes one round? Um, actually, my answer is wrong. Okay, you can correct it now. Ma'am, I, ma I think it's 16. Ma 16. The distance, the distance covered by the ant when it goes one round is 16 uh, centimeters. Then in two rounds? Ma'am, I think the answer for three rounds is 70. Yeah, what's the distance covered in two rounds? One round, 16. 32, huh? 32, 32 centimeters. Then what is the distance covered in three rounds? 48, ma'am. 48 centimeters. Ovia, oh, one very small correction you'll have to do. I think when we are discussing, you are trying to do something by yourself. When I'm not talking, you can work. But when I'm saying something, I think you have to concentrate, listen to what I'm saying. If you think you're not listening, please do that. I don't know. I'm just assuming so. When I'm explaining or when we are discussing something, you need to stop working and listen to me. When, when you're given the time to work, it's that time. It's then <clears throat> when you're doing your work. Yes, Ovia, now tell me what is the distance covered by the ant in one round? Um, it is 16. Louder? 16 centimeters. How did you get 16, Ovia? Um, we have to uh, add all the four sides. Correct. So 4 plus 4, 4 into side. What's the perimeter of a square? 4 into side. Okay, so 4 into 4, 16 centimeters. Correct. That is the distance covered by the ant in one round. Two rounds? One round is 16 centimeters. In two rounds, 16 plus 16, 32 centimeters. Yeah, in three rounds, 16 plus 16 plus 16. 48, ma'am. 48 centimeters. In the same way here, the diameter of the car is given. You need to find the distance covered by the car. When the wheels of the car go, 1,000 revolutions. 1,000 revolutions. Okay, so see the stages in which we get the answer. Now, since the diameter is given, <clears throat> since the diameter is given, We'll find the circumference using the formula pi d. OK, pi d. So we start with circumference. Circumference is equal to pi d units. So that is now here there is nothing given, meaning there is no value specified for pi. So you have to take 22 by 7. You have to take 22 by 7 into d is 70. Now you'll have to simplify 7 ones are 7 tens are. 22 into 10. Now, Ovi, are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So 22 into 10 is 220. And the unit is centimeter. So now what is 220 centimeter? 220 centimeter. See, if this is the wheel of the car, if this is the wheel of the car, now this point is in contact with the ground. This is the ground. This is the ground. Okay, this is the ground. And this point is in contact with the ground. Now, one revolution means the, so the wheel of the car, it moves. Now, so this point, this po when the wheel of the car moves, this point will keep, it will go up like this. When it moves and it completes one revolution, it will again come back and touch the ground. See, like you can, you can just mark this part of the tire with, you know, a red paint or something. Just mark this point of the tire with a red paint. 
now you can see when the car moves you know when the car moves you can see this red but the the point which is marked red you know it will go up like this it will go up and then it will again touch the ground that distance is called one revolution this is that red paint which we have marked on the car tire the red paint is now in uh, now in contact with the ground so when the car moves the red paint will go up like this and it will come back and touch the ground it will keep happening that will keep happening that will keep happening so one revolution is uh, one revolution is like when this red paint it moves it goes up and comes down again nothing but the circumference of the circle the circumference of the circle is the distance covered in one revolution okay the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution in one revolution is 220 cm therefore the distance covered therefore the distance covered by the wheel by the wheel in 1000 revolutions 1000 revolutions will be equal to what children will be equal to one revolution 220 and 220 into 1000 yeah 220 into 1000 because one revolution 220 cm then 1000 revolutions see it's like one book 220 rupees Ma then 1000 books 220 into 1000 yes yes ma'am i got the answer ma okay okay fine so what's the answer ma'am 2 lakhs 20000 correct 2 lakh 20000 so convert this to kilometers because it is a uh, distance uh, covered by the car right so you can convert this to kilometers convert it to kilometers yeah convert i'll just come back please convert uh, centimeters to kilometer I got the answer, ma'am.
Yeah, girls. What is the answer in kilometers? Yes. Ma'am, 2.2 kilometer, ma'am. 2.2 kilometers, okay. What about obvious answer? Same thing? No, no. What is the answer in kilometers? Um, I got the distance. No problem. Let's um, see. I now. did it two times, ma'am. First time I got the same answer. But the second time I got it different. Okay. So, 2 lakhs 20,000. How do you convert centimeter to meter? So, see the chart centimeter, millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter. Decameter, hectometer, kilometer. So we are here in centimeter and we need to convert it to kilometers. So now add 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Starting from centimeter to kilometer. Starting from centimeter to kilometer. 1 followed by how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Now you are converting a small unit centimeter to a larger unit. So you need to divide. When you're converting a small unit to a larger unit, you need to divide. So you need to divide by one followed by five zeros. One, two, two. Now when you do this, it's converted to kilometers. Yes? Um, I got 0 0.2. OK. So now cancel the zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you have 22 by 10. You have 22 by 10 kilometers. What is 22 by 10? It's nothing but 2.2 kilometers. This is the correct answer. <clears throat> now, how do you need to check if what you've done is correct? See, I've, I've told you from centimeter to, uh, to kilometers, Start from start with one and keep adding zero. So the number is one lakh. The next thing is, should you multiply or divide? Since you're converting a smaller unit to a larger unit, you have to divide. So divide by one lakh. When you divide by one lakh, it's converted to kilometers. Cancel the zeros. 22 by 10. Then that's nothing but 2.2 kilometers. Now you need to check where you have gone wrong. First slide, all of you finished writing? Yes, ma'am. So what is the uh, procedure, children? The diameter is given. When the diameter is given, you should find the circumference using... Uh, Ovia, are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. When the diameter is given, you need to find uh, first find the circumference of the car. Using the formula pi d. Circumference is equal to because uh, the wheel of a car is circular. The wheel of a car is circular. So the circumference of the car wheel, that is the length of the boundary of the car wheel is pi d. Why pi d? Because diameter is given. So we use the formula pi d. Now pi is 22 by 7 into d is 70. So we get 220 centimeters. Now, what does this answer 220 centimeters represent? It represents the distance covered by the wheel in going one revolution, one full turn of the wheel. When it goes one full turn, 220 centimeters. Like this, how many turns the wheels go? Thousand turns, thousand revolutions. So one book, 220 rupees. 1000 books will be 220 into 10, uh, sorry, 220 into 1000. In the same way, one revolution, 220 centimeters. 1000 revolutions, 220 into 1000. So you get the distance in centimeters. Now you have to convert that to kilometers. And that's what you see here. It is 2.2 kilometers. Now the doubt we may have is a car has four wheels. Now we found only for one wheel. What about the other wheels? What you should understand is all the wheels cover the same distance. It's not that if one wheel is going uh, one kilometer, the each wheel is going one kilometer. All the four wheels will, can cover only one kilometer at a time. The 
the wheels are not it's not that each wheel can cover 1 km at the same time all the four wheels you know the, the all the four wheels will together only they cover a particular distance it's not that one wheel covers 1 uh, km so four wheels will cover 4 km it's not like that so in respect of the number of wheels the vehicle has like a bus a lorry has many more wheels so it's not into the number of wheels all the wheels together will cover the same distance is this understood children yes ma'am okay so now i'm going to give you two questions uh, take down the questions work it out and share the pictures on whatsapp with me okay i'll give you the questions and i'll end the meeting what you have to do is you have to work the answers to the two questions and share, put the picture share the picture with me on whatsapp before 7:30 okay Yeah. Um, yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I uh, finish it before seven thirty and send it to you after, ma'am? Because now I don't have any. Uh, you can send it from a different number also. No, oh, ma'am. Uh, like no one uh, has. Sorry. Ma'am, no one uh, has phone now. The elders in your house. Um, uh, their phone got. Uh, it is in a shop, ma'am, because it got. Uh, it has to go. Bad, okay, fine, fine. No problem. Fine. Okay, you can send it later, uh, Ovian. So just make a note of the questions. Taking the questions. Um. 
Yeah. Taking the questions, girls, Ovi and Tanya? Yes, ma'am, completed. Okay, what about Ovia? Yes, ma'am. All right, girls. Fine, so Ovia will uh, work it now, but uh, share the pictures later. Tanya, you must complete the answers and share it before 7.30. It's okay if you take a little longer time, no problem. Shall I say before 8 o'clock then? Before 8? Tanya? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Okay. Ma yeah, try to complete the answers and share the pictures by 8 o'clock. Write the question and then write the answer, uh, Tanya and Ovia. All yeah. right? Okay, yes. yeah. Okay, girls, thank you. That's it for today's session. You may leave the call. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.